Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create like this can animation effect inside After Effects. And guys, this is our third part of can animation video. If you didn't watch those videos, then go to the description and watch those videos first. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And let's start the tutorial. This video we created in the last tutorial and I feel video running too slow. So now we will arrange compositions and keyframes. So I will move the compositions and keyframe like this to make video more faster. And close unwanted compositions. Now I will create a new group and I will name it frame 2. And just move all compositions and files inside this frame 2 group. Like this. Now we are ready to animation our third video. So now we will create a new composition and name it main tree. And I will keep the same setting as you can see and hit OK. Go to the frame one group and select the gooseberry compositions and control D to duplicate this can and just move out of this group. Now close the group and name this position to can one and move drag and drop into the timeline and press S to scale it make it around 40 45 is good now select this scan and control D to duplicate two more times and just move it like this same with that now go to the frame 1 group and select the black scan and control D to duplicate and name it scan 2 and move out of this group and same select raspberry can and control it duplicate and name it can 3 and drag and drop move it out of this group like this now just close the group now we are going to replace these three cans with our timeline cans then select this second can composition select can 2 composition and hold alt and just drag and drop on it to replace select another composition and select can 3 compositions and just press hold and drag and drop to replace it now we are gonna remove this rotation animation so select all of these and open select packaging and press u to visible keyframes and delete the keyframe like this same we will repeat packaging and press u and click on these positions let frame press u and press now go back to the main three composition as you can see there is a not animation close all of these cans now select this green can can one and control d to duplicate two times and just move to left side like this and same select another can and move it to right side it's good now right click and add a camera and i will enable this depth of field and hit OK. OK again. After that, select all of these scans and click on this to make them 3D. Now right click and add a null object. And name it camera controller. And make it 3D as well. And select the camera and make the parent to the null object like this. Select all of these compositions and press P. Select this middle can. And copy the position X value. Ctrl C to copy. Now change the camera angles. So select the custom view 1. Now select can 2 and can 3. And just move the Z value like this to back side. Same, select this can 1 and another can and just move the can Z value to like this. But I will move it little more backside. So move the Z value to more like this. Same, can 2 and can 3. Now guys, just go to the top view. Select both of these can layers and move the z value something like this move z value more 
and select both of these and move the Z value and go back to the active camera. Now fill the gap and align them properly. Now we will move the all can to the center. So I will go to around 1.5 second and select all of this can and make a position keyframe and go to the starting and paste middle cans position values with all of these compositions. Same we will paste middle scan position x value in all of these compositions like this. Now as you can see all position in the center and it will move like this. I will move starting keyframes little bit to the around 1 second. We don't need this keyframe so I will delete it and select all of these keyframes and press F9 easy them. Now you can see this smooth animation effect. Now go to the graph editor and select right side handles like this and expand the timeline and just move it to left side like this and as you can see this smooth animation. Close the graph editor. Now our animation part is ready, so we will create serial reflection. So now I will select all of these compositions and Ctrl D to duplicate all of them and just select all of these and change the color to brown and just move it to the down like this and just right click and transform and select flip vertical. Now our selected cans are flipped. Now select first brown layer and go to the effect and preset and search transform and just drag and drop onto it. Now play with the position y value so I will just make it like this minus Now it's looking good and Ctrl C to copy this transform and save all of these bottom brown layers and Ctrl V to paste. Now can reflections are ready. Now double click on the rectangle layer to create a rectangle and just move it between shadow and can layers like this. Now it's the center of our can and shadow. Now make it 3D and go to the camera and change the camera view to custom view 1 and rotate x value minus 90 and just move the z value to the down like this and move it little bit more down and play with it now press s and scale the floor like this and move the x value to make it the center and go back to the active camera now align the floor and I will just move the value move the z position something like this you play with it now press T and just decrease the opacity value I will make it around 90% and Select this floor layer again and just change the color to complete black. Now it's looking good to me. Now double click the rectangle again to make the background and move it to the down. Now guys fit the screen and I will increase the opacity value to 93 and right click to add a adjustment layer and move to the down under the floor and just go to the effect preset and add a Gaussian blur and apply on the adjustment layer. I will increase the blurriness value around 7.6 and now it's looking good to me. Now our animation part is ready. So go to the around 1.5 second and select the camera controller layer and press R and add a Z rotation keyframe and press P and add a position keyframe and press U to visible both of keyframes and go to the starting and now I will increase the position Z value to make the zoom effect it's looking good now 
now we will rotate the z value so i will make it minus 90 press u and move the end keyframes to the around one second and select all of these keyframes and press f9 to ease them i will increase the position z value it's looking good now now we will add a light so right click and add a light and hit ok so just change the camera view and make the custom view one and move the z value to back side and go back to the active camera it's looking good now you can play with the light position according to you Open the lights options. Make the cone feather 100%. Now it's good. And close it. This animation is complete ready. Now we will compose all of these three compositions which we created in our previous videos. So now go to the project panel and there is our all three compositions which we created in our previous videos. So I will make a new composition and name it final render and I will keep the height and width same and duration will be around 25 seconds and hit ok. Now go to the search panel and I will type main. Now you can see our all main compositions and select one by one and drag and drop in the timeline. I will reduce the quality because it can be heavy file. Now go to the around 6 seconds. Now drag and drop main to composition into the timeline. I will move the composition around 6 seconds. But there is a transparent background so we will create a background. So double click on main to compositions and double click on the rectangle and drag and drop to the bottom. Make the color complete black and name it background and go back to the final end composition. But I feel this animation is too slow. So I will just double click on main two compositions. Press U to see the keyframes and just move it to left side like this to make it more faster. And go back to the final render. Now it's looking good. And just type main three. And drag and drop our main three compositions move it to the right side like this around 11 seconds now guys we will create a zoom effect so i will go to the around 30 second and press s and add a keyframe and go to the around 70 second and increase the scale value around 131 now increase the resolution to see the final animation I will move the render area around 50 seconds. Now guys, our animation is ready. Guys, if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you like this video. And if you didn't watch the previous two tutorials, then go to the description and watch those videos first. And guys, if you are facing any problem, then you can ask me in comment box. I will help you there. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will meet you in next video. So guys, bye bye and take care.